Every year, a lot of kids tragically lose their lives because they're left alone in hot cars, mainly because it only takes a few minutes for the inside of a car to get dangerously hot. It's a heartbreaking reality that these innocent lives could have been saved if only their caregivers had been more responsible. Here are three instances when terrible parents leave their kids inside a car. On August 21st, 2021, police received multiple calls about a woman who left her children inside a hot car for approximately four hours. The woman, who was later identified as Tomasha Massey, had left her two kids inside a hot car to go donate blood. Police arrived at the scene and immediately started investigating the case. According to the passerby who alerted the security guard, he had stopped when he saw two kids hanging by the side window, screaming and calling for their mom. He also told the cops that when he approached the car, the window was rolled up, and when he asked the kids for their mom, they told him their mom was in the blood bank, donating. Pointed out to me that you've seen the kids in the car left. I talked to the little girl, she said she don't know how long she's been in here. Okay. One is like an infant, probably like four or five. No, I think the other one was like three, three or four. Okay. I, I was just doing an Uber Eats here. Oh, you're fine, okay. And drove by and the little girl was hanging out the window screaming. What, like, the, the, the windows were rolled up though? Uh, like they're, they're two, uh, the two how they are were kind of like how they are, but the two back were, were this one was up. It's the little like, three year old here was hanging out the car screaming. Like I was screaming for what's, her mom. So I stopped and I was like, uh -huh. what's, what's your, your name? mom's name? What's your name? Steven. Yeah. You notify. I, I, I do. I do gig work for work. Okay, so okay. Um, I was doing an Uber Eats here, uh -huh. and uh, I, like I said, I, I drive by, and she was the little girl was hanging out the window screaming uh -huh. for her mom. So I'm a parent. So I was like, so I walked up to the car to make sure there was nobody in the car with them, uh -huh. and I asked her. I said, "What's your mom's name?" I'll go get her. And then I saw the security guard, and I asked him to come outside because this, this is a serious matter. Uh -huh. The cop then proceeded to ask one of the kids their mom's name, and she replied, Tomasha. The nurse confirmed that Tomasha was a new donor, and she had been in the bank for at least two hours now, so she went back into the blood bank to get her off the machine. Hey, what's your mom's name? What's that? What's your mom's name? What is uh, it? Tomasha. Tomasha. Yep, she's a new donor, too. She's been in here for at least two hours. What's going on? With the, she had a head wrap on. Yes. Yeah, me and Tuesday were fit. Yep. Long time. Like, what? Uh, at least two. I can find out the start time if that's something you need. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm going to go get her, the mom off the machine. After waiting for some minutes with no sight of Tamesha, the cops decided to go inside and look for her. But while at it, Tamesha had already walked out through another door and was being questioned by other officers outside. The cops asked the irresponsible mother how long she had been inside, and she casually said only a couple of hours. Tomasha, sounding defensive, told the cops that it was the first time she'd left her kids alone in the car. She must be joking if she thinks the cops will let her off the hook because this is her first time leaving her kids all by themselves in the car. I'm gonna see when she checked out. Despite her claims, the cops proceeded to go check the register to confirm the exact time Tamesha checked into the blood bank. And surprisingly, Tamesha checked into the blood bank at approximately 7.30 a.m. And judging by the cops' watch, the time was 11.30 a.m. How irresponsible is this mother? How can she just leave toddlers all by themselves in a locked car in one of the hottest months of the year? 
Generally, August is considered one of the hottest months after July. So she's been checked in with us since 7.30 a.m. 7.30 a.m., okay. It's getting really warm out here now. It's really hot. And, and look, the baby's dressed in pants and long sleeves. What's your name? My name is Stacy. I'm the registered nurse here. All right, Stacy. All right, we're just getting them checked out. Yeah. I appreciate it a lot. You're welcome. Okay. Been here since 7.30. Been here since 7.30? Hi, hi. While checking the kids, the cop noticed an injury on one of the kids' arms and asked Tamisha about it. The irresponsible mother told the cops the little girl broke her arm last week and that she didn't take her to the hospital because she thought it wasn't something serious. This woman's negligence is highly on another level. What kind of mother leaves her child with a broken arm without getting her treated at the hospital? What happened to her arm? Why is her arm in a bandage? She burned her arm. Okay. A couple, like last week. How? She got to the arm. I was burning, yeah. and I tried to wait for like a hot second, and she hasn't got to the arm. Okay, did you go to the hospital for that? Um, no. It just I um it, it was just that bad. You know, okay. I had seen, right. so I put ointment on it, like uh, under the counter ointment, okay. and then um kind of wrapped it. That's all. Thank you. Know it's okay, I'm just gonna check it. Okay, I just want to make sure it's infected. That's so cool. We got here all because there's two kids left in the car, so, I mean, it doesn't make it a difference. The officer proceeded to explain the sequence of events that had happened to Tamesha. The cops told her it's dangerous to leave little kids in the car for hours because the inside of the car can get very heated up very quickly, and kids at a young age are easily prone to high temperatures. Now, let me explain. I'm off the lever and it's not part of the right? Yeah. Tamesha, however, we're going to receive a 911 uh, call stating that the vehicle is turned off with the windows up. Hey, can you come here? Yeah, I'm, start trying to, the I'm trying to charge this so I can pull up. Okay. Um, the windows is rolled up. Yes, ma'am. And the kids are here at home. Yes, ma'am. All right. Yes, ma'am. We come here. However, they were unable. They were people were here bystanders were able to you know open the door, give the kids some water. Okay. Yes, ma'am. However, this is serious. This is this is severity crime. Okay. You can't just leave the kids in the car unattended. All right. The car was not on. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't leave it on. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's hot outside, you know what I mean? Uh, oh, so you mean to, okay. Even if it was on, people can take your children, that, they can yeah. take your car, yeah. and it's like near 85 degrees outside. Inside that car heats up very fast, yeah. and That's children at a young age are very suspicious. They're easily raise their temperature level. Up. It finally dawned on Tamesha that she was in serious trouble when the cops told her they were going to inform child services about the situation. The irresponsible mother started shedding what we believe to be crocodile tears. I'm going to go to the hospital get the kids checked out. I'm going to notify child family services. All right? And we'll go from there, okay? Okay. Okay. I'll do this. The guy who's doing Hey, ma'am. Okay. The cops proceeded to handcuff Tamasha and told her she was being detained. At this moment, Tamasha finally remembered she had kids and asked the cops if she could go see them. But the cop told her her kids were being taken to the hospital for treatment. I guess it's too late to cry over spilled milk. Go ahead, put your hands down. We're just detaining you right now, all right? I'm, put your hands I'm down being right detained? Now. Yes. Put your hands together like you're praying. Like you're praying. There you go. Don't see my baby. Yeah, stand by, all right? Hold on. I'm going to double lock them so they don't get tighter, all right? Hold on. Yeah, Stacy Aldridge. 
Tomesha was arrested and taken away. She was charged with endangering children, M1. She was entered into a drug court where she successfully completed her program on February 28th, 2022. If you think Tomesha is the worst mother ever, wait until you meet the next mother who left her infant child in a hot car to gamble. But before we get to that, please take a second to hit that like button. On the 4th of March, 2022 in Florida, police responded to a report of an infant that was left alone in a running car. Fortunately, a good Samaritan told the cops that the mother of the baby was inside the gambling arcade. Soon, cops arrived and immediately swung into action. They found the vehicle unlocked and were able to ensure the infant was okay. Approximately 10 minutes after their arrival, the irresponsible mother walked out from the arcade. Thought a five vehicle is unlocked, car is running. Hello. Well, I'm going to turn my contact little parent inside the arcade, but I don't want to leave the child here by himself. If he's in the arcade, he won't be able to see me parked out here because uh, it's all tinted out. Time for not distress. Um, VMS was around, they can just guard. The irresponsible mother, realizing the mess she was in, quickly tried to do some damage control. She argued that she had asked her cousin to stay in the car with the kids, but surprisingly, her so-called cousin was nowhere to be found. I bet there's no cousin anywhere. The whole cousin stuff might actually be a lie. Hello. Okay. Is this your car? Yeah, but my cousin was in here. All right, give me a second. Just relax right here for a second. You have an ID on you? Yes, I do. Okay. Who's your who's your huh? who's, who's your uh, cousin? Cousin. Her name is um um. I'm just so nervous, Brittany. Where's she at? I don't know. I told her to stay in here with the baby. Where could she have gone? Huh? Where could she have gone? I don't know. She usually be. She usually tell me if she going somewhere so I can stay out here with the baby. She's supposed to be in there with you too. No. When the officer asked her how long she had been inside the arcade, one would think the irresponsible mother would come clean and tell the officer the truth considering the fact that she was already in trouble. But she decided to lie to the officers instead, claiming she was only inside for about 10 to 15 minutes. But little did she know that the officer already had been at the scene for more than 10 minutes before she came out. At this moment, it dawned on her that she had been caught, so she decided to come clean and tell the truth. How long have you been here? Me? Just, just, I just walked in here about 10, 15 minutes ago. I don't think it's been that, it's probably been longer than that. I've been here for a minute. How long you been here? Longer than that, probably about 10, 15, so it's Okay, been well, here. probably about 30 minutes then. Now here is where it gets interesting. The irresponsible mother had earlier claimed Brittany was her cousin, but later she told the officer that Brittany was her friend, but she usually referred to her as her cousin. How stupid. How can you call someone your cousin, yet you don't know where she lives? Worst of all, you left someone you don't have her contact information or house address to look after your infant. The level of this woman's carelessness needs to be unraveled. What is your friend or cousin that's supposed to, that was supposed to be staying, staying here with the baby? Brianna. What is it? Brittany. Brittany? Yes. What's her date of birth, you know? She's actually my friend, but I call her my cousin. I don't know her. Okay, do you know where she lives at? I, yeah, I picked her up from off of Schumann. What's her address? I'm not sure. What's your phone number? My number? Her phone number. I don't have her number. So how'd you pick she her up? I don't have a number. Because I call her for her house number. What's her house number? 772. I don't know. She told me that she had to go pay her bills, so I don't know. Pay her bills where? Her um cell phone bill. Where though? At Metro. Where's, where's Metro around here? Where's Metro? Yeah. There was one down here, but I heard they closed, so I don't know if she went and... At this point, the cops knew she was likely lying, so they decided to check the CCTV footage to see if her story was true. For her sake, she better be telling the truth. But the shocking thing in all this is the fact that this woman doesn't have her supposed friend's address or contact information. It seems Brittany is an alien from space. Who knows? Because in a minute, I'm gonna go in there and review the camera, see how long the kid's been in here. And you said your friend Brittany was supposed to be in the car and she disappeared. All right, I'm gonna check the camera as well and see if there was even another female in here, all right? Okay. Because that's kind of like child, child neglect, all right? It was running, it's running right now. Child's mother? Yes, I am. So 
you're also going to be responsible for the salad, right? Yes. So I don't give a shit if you had a front there or not. Why would you need to get this to a car case Because somebody else is with me, that's why. Okay. Just hang out. Just hang out. You're not going in the car right now. Why not? Because you're not. Well, I need to. Alright. Lee, you're going to get the video? I got to talk to one of these ladies in the car real quick. What's your mom? Do you have a, a mom that lives close by or anything? She's at work, yeah. Okay. I'm going to call Brittany real quick, the supposed person that was sitting, that's supposed to be sitting in the car, alright? See what she says, alright? Okay. Do you have a family member that can come here? My mom, she's at work though. Where's your mom working? Oh, you know my aunt. I can call my aunt. Okay. Alright. I can call my aunt. Alright, just give me a second, alright? Can I call my aunt? We'll, we'll, we'll get on that. Just give us a second. When's the last time um, you fed and changed her? Before I came. Okay. Hey, can you give me a, an address for Brittany? Can you look it up on your phone where you picked her up? An address? I'm not sure what her address is. I know it's right off the street. It's right off the home? I just need a back when you're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, diapers inside this car anywhere? In the front, front seat. No the officer now proceeded to interrogate the irresponsible mother, but one thing is for sure, that this woman is ready to go to any length to cover up her mistakes, even if it meant telling stupid lies that sound dumb or making up things that don't make sense. I said I came by 11, then I... 11 a.m.? Yeah, about okay. 11.30. 11 or 11.30? 11.30. Okay. And then I can't, then I left and went that um to um go get I love to go to the bank. Bank of America, so we check the camera stick one. And then I came back. With which bank did you go to? Bank of America. Bank of which one which one was that one though? Right there on five hundred. You know around what time that was that was that? I say about twelve thirty. Around twelve thirty? Right, did you go inside the Bank of America? Yeah, I went to the ATM. Through the ATM? What'd you go do there? I, bought, I got money out. You went to get money out? And then you came right back? Yes. Okay. And then what happened? And that's it. Okay. Do at any point in time, did you pick up this so-called so Brittany Collins? Yes, I've been picked up before I came the first time. Before you came the first yeah, time? And where was she at then? She was at her house. Okay. And you we brought her here? The... her cousin's house. I picked up from my cousin's house. And, and we came here. And then I played a little bit. I left, went to the bank. And then I came back. Okay, but... So you brought her here the first time? Yes, I did. Okay, then the second time, was she still with you? Yes, she was. So you went to Bank of America? Yes. Brittany was still in the car? Okay. And then you went inside and played, and Brittany was supposed to be with the child? Yes, yes. She was with her the whole time. She was on this side. Well, she's, she, apparently there was nobody here, because it's empty, right? There's nobody here. I, well, because she gone. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Where's Brittany? You can't give me a phone number. Everybody's got a phone number, a cell phone these days. Did you call her cell phone? I called the number you gave me. Okay, what did you say? It didn't answer, nobody answered. Okay, and you don't have an address for her? No, I don't. Nothing, so I you just know as Brittany Collins. Yes, okay. Does she have a Facebook? Let me see if I can find it. I don't even really have a Facebook. Okay, does she have an Instagram, a Snapchat? I gotta be able to identify her to her, her to, you know, verify your story because... No, I don't have Facebook, I don't have an Instagram. I got a Snapchat, but I don't have my own Snapchat. Okay, and you don't have an address of where you picked her up from? It was just off the show, and she gave me directions. That was it. When the cops asked the irresponsible mother to show the number her friend used to call her, she proceeded by showing the officer a different number which she hadn't even called that day. Her excuse was that she had the habit of deleting numbers. At this moment, it seems this irresponsible mother is not ready to stop with the dumb lies anytime soon. The patience of the cop is applauded at this point, but how long can the cop put up with her shenanigans before she is arrested? It was just off the show, and she gave me directions. That was it. She called you? Let me see. Yes. If I got it You got any recent calls? Wait, I'm trying to see. Today, there's no calls from that number that you provided me. Okay. No, because you have... she didn't call me from that number, that's why. What number did she call you from? Because look, there's this number you called at 920. Well, I'm sorry, right. I have a at, habit of right. just deleting numbers at, too. Okay, well, that 10, was her cousin right. number. And then at 1016, you called Nicole, and she called you, then you called Nicole back at 1037, you received a call at 1121, and then you made two calls just right now, where we're standing here to Tanya. So yeah. now at the point in time, did you receive any other call? 
I told you, other I don't person. keep numbers. Why do you delete numbers? All these other numbers are here. Because I, if it's not, that's her cousin number. Why would I keep her cousin number? Okay. So you're telling me there was somebody in the car the whole time. That, that, that those cameras are going to show. You understand me? Did you look at them? No, we haven't because the owner's coming to get them. All right. If that's a, that's a story you want to tie yourself to. That's fine. That's on you, not on me. Okay. I'm trying to, like I said at the beginning, honesty is the best policy. Mm -hmm. Well, you're sitting here lying to us. My phone. After a little pep talk from the cop, the careless mother decided to come clean. She told the cop no one was with her and that she had been lying the whole time. In other words, there's no Brittany. It was all made up. It's funny this irresponsible mother is still trying to be defensive at this point. She claims she wasn't trying to stay too long and only went in to call someone. But does she really expect the cop to believe anything she says when she has been lying to him the whole time? So, yes or no? Uh, That's your story? Sorry. No, What's your story then? Worry, don't worry about it. Hmm? Worry about me. What's your story? I'm, to I'm talking to you. That's what I'm trying to figure out. If you sit here and lie to me, it's not going to go good. You understand what I'm saying? No, there was nobody with you. There was nobody with you. So you left the child here all by yourself, by itself, while you went in there and played in the arcade. Yeah, it was, I wasn't trying to take too long. I was going to leave, but obviously somebody called in on me. Just when we thought this woman was finally taking accountability for her foolish actions, she proved us wrong by telling the cops she is sure someone called in on her. How dumb. That should be the least of this woman's concerns right now. She was not even thinking about the thousands of things that would have gone wrong if the officers hadn't arrived there when they did. But obviously somebody called in on me. Yeah, it doesn't matter, exactly. You went in there to play an arcade game. You said you've been here since 11.30. Did you actually go to Bank of America? Yes, I did. Okay, you went to Bank of America? Yeah, I got the receipt. Let me, Let me see. Let me see. So you, you, the, you withdrew $320 at 1208 hours, right? How long is the drive from back of America to here? It's maybe a five minutes, right? Oh, no, it closed that off. Okay, so 10 minutes. Doesn't matter, right? 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so at 1208, you got back here at 1220. Okay. Well, what time is it now? It is 146. All right, so I got here, I'll look at the time. So the baby's been in there for over an hour. You know what I'm saying? Probably about, yeah. Probably, no, I know. All right. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is what's all funny thing? So this is what's probably going to happen. All right. DCF is going to come out here and pick up the child. I, my mom is at work right now. I can have her come get her. Okay, so look, this is what's going to happen for right now. All right, I'm going to be brutally honest with you. DCF, you. That's up to DCF. That's not up to us. All right. So right now, you want to put your phone in their purse real quick for me? Take your purse off for me. At this moment, the cop decided to handcuff and arrest the irresponsible mother. The cop proceeded to search her bag for any illegal items. Why can I have my phone? What's that? Why can I hold my phone? Because as of right now, I need you to place your hands behind your back. You are being arrested, all right? Put them together. Turn inwards, just like that. All right. Might have to lean a little bit forward. Come on, I'll stay up here. You want to follow up on that? Um, I just want to check it. Is there anything in here that shouldn't be in here? Anything illegal, narcotics, drugs? No, 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 no. Nothing but your money. Let's just take it up there. Yeah, kind of go right up there. Watch your. I'll put that one in there. <laughs> hey, do you have any formula in the car? What's that? It's at my house. No, it's all. Everything's at her house besides what's in the car. What kind of formula she use? If the mill, which one? The purple one or the regular orange one? It doesn't matter? Because yeah. she doesn't, um, she's not allergic to anything? The bottle. Her bottle's in the car? Well, it's, it's all now, the like, one right goes back. 
She was eventually charged with child neglect and leaving an unattended child in the vehicle. If you think no other parent can top this irresponsible mother's foolishness, then you are wrong. In our next case, the irresponsible mother left her infant inside a running car with the doors unlocked. The Brunswick, Ohio Police Department received a call from a concerned bystander who was later revealed to be an off-duty cop concerning a lady who left her baby in a running car with the doors unlocked. And I don't know if it's just me being overprotective or if I'm just crazy. Okay, what's going on? This lady left an infant child alone in a vehicle. And when I say infant, this baby's months old, alone inside a running vehicle. And she went inside the Dollar Tree. The cops arrive at the scene, open the door, and are welcomed by loud music playing in the car. Now this is very dangerous. With this kind of loud music playing, even if something is happening to the baby and she is screaming her lungs out, no one would even notice. Just go leave that door open so we don't overheat. The bitch just hey. left the kid here like it was nothing, guys. Yeah. I'm gonna go find her and just uh, hang out. The good Samaritan who called the cops went on to narrate how everything happened. He even told the cops that he thought everything was a joke at first until the lady went into the Dollar Tree without her infant. I was originally parked right here. Yeah. And I watched her get out. And I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. And then I thought it was a joke. And she, she wasn't young either, man. I don't know. It's better to keep this. Where'd she go? He's going to save us. 25, she went into the Dollar Tree. I wonder if I should keep this closed for the baby. I, I opened it. Okay. Because he went around and opened that door, yeah. so I opened it up to make sure the baby was breathing and everything. Yeah, we got the keys there. But it was running and stuff. They had the car running. <laughs> Now, the cops are trying to locate the irresponsible mother later identified as Kayla Jenkins, but all efforts proved abortive as the Good Samaritan kept giving the cops different descriptions. It's crazy, dude. And the lady's not young. I mean, she looks like she knows better than this Goes shit. back to like a 64-year-old lady in the car. I don't... Yeah. Oh, trust me, I know. <laughs> Fun day to be a cop today. <laughs> she in there? Not that I can see. Not it comes back to like a 64 year old. What did she look like? I'll identify her, man. Alright. I see her. I'm sure she's in there. What does she look like? It wasn't the she didn't look 64 to me, bro. What, was, what does she look like? She didn't look 64. Alright, we'll just wait for her to come. Hey! Hi! Hi! Unlocked with yeah. the keys. Yeah. I'm gonna go get it. Well, just wait right here for us. What was she wearing? After what seemed like forever, Kayla arrived and wasn't pleased to see the cops. She claimed she decided to run quickly into the dollar store since her baby was asleep. But honestly, this is a lame excuse. What happened to taking your child with you in a stroller or a baby carrier? All these irresponsible mothers have one thing in common, and that's their talent for making up excuses for their foolish actions. Despite her lame excuses, the cop knew the baby's safety was a priority. He immediately told the mother to check on her baby and make sure she was okay. Is that her? You left your baby in an unlocked car 
out here while you go on the Dollar Tree? What are you doing? She was asleep, so I just ran, ran in really quick. You can't leave quick. your child out, if an infant, in the car. One, it's 55 degrees out with the sun on him. All right, two, that car's unlocked. Anybody could have came and taken that kid and left. Okay. All right, you see how dumb that was? Yeah. Right, do you have a license on you? Hang out with this officer for me. The cop then tried to get some information from Kayla about her mom and the baby's father. However, Kayla refused to give the cop her mom's contact info, claiming she's an adult. But if she really was, leaving her baby in a car wouldn't be an option. It just goes to show how foolish she really is. I guess it's true what they say. Age doesn't always equal maturity. Is the child's father in the picture? Is this your mother's vehicle? Yeah. What's her contact information? What's going on? Dad's not in the picture. I'm going to get grandma's info. Okay. All right. Your mother's the registered owner of this vehicle? Yeah. What's her phone number? What is going on? You're going to be getting some paperwork here in a second. So what is your mother's contact information? Do you know what's going on? You're going to be getting a ticket for endangering children. So what is your mother's contact information? Why do you need her? In case Medina County Job and Family Services needs to contact her. Why couldn't contact me? What is her contact Phone number for her. What's the child's name? What's that? Jenkins. Middle name. What's her birth date? So what, she's one, what is she like, 14 months old? Yeah. I mean, do you think it's smart to leave a 14 year old in a car? Unlocked and running? Regardless if you're in Brunswick or not? Finally, the officer told Kayla that she was going to get charged, and if she refused to show up for a citation, the court would put up a warrant for her. The officer also proceeded to tell her that any subsequent offense after this is a felony. And considering that this was her first offense, she might likely get a fine and possibly work out payment. Kayla, you're getting charged with endangering children. You have a court date on the uh, citation right here, 419.22 at 5.15 p.m. in Brunswick Mary's Court. You do have to appear. If you don't appear, it's not a waiverable offense. If you don't appear, they're going to put a warrant out for you. Okay? After this, any subsequent offenses of this is a felony. Alright? So continue to leave your child in the park. Alright? It's a very serious thing. Alright? It's a first degree misdemeanor. It will be in mayor's court this time. Like I said, do this again and we're going to charge you with felony. Alright? It could very easily be taken out for that. It's a serious issue. Alright? Make sure you appear in court. Right? If you're contacted by generally any charge like this, you'll be contacted by JFS, so I'm going to make sure you're not going to do it again. Okay? Make sure you pay attention for the time. Do you have any questions for me? Do you understand why this is such a big deal? Yeah. Okay. I understand it was an error in judgment, and it was just a dumb decision, but that very often leads to the kid dying in the back of the car and getting kidnapped, right? So really this is a better outcome than us finding a kid dead in the back of the car. The officer then proceeded to warn her to never make such stupid mistakes again. He also told her it was risky because someone might even decide to kidnap the child and that she was lucky it was an off-duty police officer who found the child. 
Despite everything, Kayla still had the nerve to defend herself for her own foolish actions. Make sure you don't do this again. I don't want to find your kid dead somewhere, seriously. Yeah. Right? That's why it's such I a big issue. All right. I do take this really seriously. Uh, listen, and I get it, it was an error of judgment. Uh, it's a learning experience, but so many times parents will walk away. I just thought she would be okay because the car was running and I was right, right I, there. I understand, but you understand so we can just grab this kid and go. You're lucky it was an off-duty police officer that found them, all right, instead of somebody who just decided they want a kid, all right? You gotta, you gotta keep an eye on her, it happens. And you, all of a sudden you come out and your kid's gone, then what do you do? There's no cameras here, we don't know where she went. You probably never see her again, you understand? It's a dangerous thing, okay? All right, get yourself home, calm yourself down, okay? It's just, it was a mistake, take care of it, and it's over, all right? Just don't do it again, you understand? I don't want to be looking for your kid everywhere, looking for somebody to kidnap your kid. You clearly care about your child. I don't think you're a bad parent. I think you made a really stupid decision. Just don't make it again. Get it taken care of. All right? All right. What? Why did you want my mother's number? Well, because generally we have a second point of contact for JFS. And if the father's not around, then... Something like that. So, okay? Put your kid in the car seat. Now imagine if your car was moving to the spot too. Right? That's a good point too. So let's put your kid in the car seat, calm down a little bit, and get yourself home, okay? Although Kayla wasn't arrested, she was charged with endangering children. She was found guilty in mayor court and was charged a $330 fine. You're scaring your kids. Yeah, it's like, oh, get my f doors! What the f stuff I'm about? How old are you guys? They're minors. They're all minors? Yes. Okay. Mom, I'm not talking to these cops. And I'm a mother at the end of the day. I am. Okay, not, okay my kids are so way more important than little funky merchandise. Oh, Parents are supposed to be a gift to their children, meant to protect them from harm and ensure their safety and peace. However, in some unfortunate circumstances, we find parents abandoning that responsibility in favor of pure recklessness, from extremely stupid behavior to sticky fingers. Here are three instances where parents use their children to escape accountability and disgrace themselves. In our first case of the day, a police officer finds Josephine on the side of the road at night. When questioned, it, she states that her car has run out of gas and she is just trying to get home. Fair enough. But then the officer soon realizes that she looks very disoriented. It's clear to the officer that Josephine might either be on substance abuse or mentally incapacitated. To make the situation worse for the officer, Josephine has her two daughters in the back seat. My, my uh, car doesn't okay. have any gas in it. I just need to get home. I got my daughters in the back seat. It's cold. Okay, real quick, you, you don't have any weapons or anything in your no, pocket, do you? Yeah. Mind just taking your hands out real quick? Yeah. Just pay your pockets mm -hmm. down. Um, your car broke down? It's out of gas. Okay. Um, hold on a second. Your number is two, two. Are you gonna talk to me? You alright? Yeah, I'm good. I just wanna get home. Yeah. My daughters are in the back seat. I wanna get home. Okay, you just ran out of gas. Yeah. Do you have your ID on you? Yes, I do. You mind if I get there real quick? Hold on, just keep the door open. I just wanna talk to you, that's all. Where are you guys coming from? Anywhere good? 135th and Central. Where are you coming from? 135th and Central. Why are you out here? I had to get some gas. Hi guys. Hi. What's your name? Emily. Emily? One second here. The police officer begins to question her and asks for identification and her driver's license. At this point, it's clear that something is off as Josephine becomes aggressive and proceeds to spit on the officer. Talk about a hygiene violation. Despite the officer being helpful and nice, this lady has some serious problems. Seeing the sensitivity of the issue, the officer calls for backup, and another officer arrives at the scene. You mind if I open your door? Do you have uh, you have your license? I'm looking for it right now. Okay, can I just get your name? That's all. Just go. Hold on, keep the door open. It's cold. Why are you all upset? Because I'm trying to get home with my daughters. I know. I'm trying to help you. Okay, here you go. Bye. Josephine, relax. Bye. Hold on a second. I, I, have your I ID. wanna close my fing door. It's cold, bro. Do you want help or no? I, yeah, I want my door closed. Yeah, well let me talk to you. Alright. If you need Bye. it. Bye. Bye. Leave the door open. No, Stop. no, no, you found no, it. Josephine, enough. Ah, what are you I'm doing? A clown, bro. Move! Relax. I'm just trying to Move! Talk. What is your deal? Don't fucking spit on me. Move. Do not fucking spit on me. I got another car coming. 91 and 16 on 
I'm a 10-4 right now. She's uh, not being very cooperative with me. Chat four. Can I talk to you? Josephine. Not making much sense. You hop back in the car. Yeah. Um, she got her two kids in the car. Oh, okay. As the officers question Josephine, we are introduced to what I can only describe as a ball of yarn for a brain. Her stories are so mixed up and they don't make any sense at all. This leads the new officer on the scene to again ask Josephine if she has taken any substances at all. On top of all this madness, this lady starts to weaponize her children to get out of the situation, stating that it is cold and she needs to get the kids home safely. I want to talk to somebody else. Okay. Do you want to talk to me? Yeah. Okay. What's, what's, what's your first name? I'm Josephine. I just want to get my kids off. You want to press the uh, alarm button? I don't know. My dad was a police officer from Melodium for 20 years. Okay. Um, I just want to go home. Sure. I'll get my, uh, I thought I was getting my car today, but I don't know where my key went. That's the only thing. Well, you, I mean, you had to have had your key to drive it this I, far, right? Yeah, I did, but then I went home, I went to sleep, I showered, you know what I mean? I left it right here because it ran out of gas, you know? Where, where were you coming from? Where did you start driving at? Um, Crestwood, 135th and Central. Okay. And then where were you going? Um, I was going right here to the mall to go get some new, uh, my, my Nike's fucked up. You see? My mm. Nike's fucked up. You okay. Know? I was going to get some new Nike's and then my shit ran out. Okay. So you were, you, you left your house and trying to go to the mall? Yep. Okay. So you, you have to have your key on you, right? I don't have it on me right now. Hmm. Hmm. Am I gonna ride to my house or what? Can I close my door if you're not taking me to my house? Well, I mean, we got to figure out where exactly right. you live and everything okay, like that. Okay, so let me get let me get a phone call because me and my daughter deserve that. Okay, who, who are you gonna call? My mother. Do you do you live with her? Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have you taken anything tonight? No. Do you know where you're at? Yes, I know where I'm at. Where? On uh 159th and uh Midlothian Turnpike, something like that. Okay. Okay. You haven't taken anything tonight? No, sir. No? Okay. Well, you're, you're not making a lot of sense, so that's why we're asking. Okay, well, me and my daughters make a lot of sense in this world, okay? Me okay. and my daughters make a lot of sense in this world, so let okay. me get home to me and my daughters, okay. and we go to sleep, okay? Okay. All right. I'm sorry, but I have very little sympathy for this woman. Something is seriously wrong with her, and she is grasping at straws to find whatever defense she can use to get out of this sticky situation. The officers, still ever so helpful, start to try to get in touch with her mother as a potential solution to this escalating issue. What's what's your mom's name? Charla. Charla? Charlotte. Charlotte. Do you know how to spell Charlotte? It's C-H-A-R-L-O-T-T-E. Thank you. And my daddy's name is B-R-U-C-E. He was a Midlothian police officer for about 20 years until he put up, put me on camera when I was uh, five years old and f my cousin, okay? That's what he did. Me and my cousin f on camera because of him. So what's up, you wanna call him? No. Me and my dad for 20 years, Midlothian Police Department. Mm -hmm. You wanna call him right no. now? No, no, you don't, you don't. Me and my cousin, my cousin that's about uh, six months younger than me, on camera because of uh, Midlothian Police Department. So what's up? Okay. I'm trying to go home. Okay. I'm yeah. trying to go home with me and my daughters where, where me and my daughters are safe at. So I'm assuming that your dad doesn't live with you guys? No, he doesn't. Okay. Do you want us to give your mom a call? Yeah. Okay. What, whatever I can get home to. You feel me? Me and my daughters. Mm -hmm. Me and my daughters. I don't want nobody touching my daughters or me. Nobody's going to touch you. Okay. I, mean, I, don't, cool. I don't know what the cool. issue That's is. That's great. That's great. So call my mom with that. Okay. Why are you so uh, aggressive with us? Because you got that blip right there. So the can what? you call my mom? I got the what? Can you call my OG? Can you call my mama? What's an OG? What do you think? I mean, she doesn't know where she's at. She's been extremely aggressive yeah. for no reason. The officers finally manage to get a hold of her mother, and she tries to calm her daughter down to no avail. Although she is an hour out in a completely different state, she advises the police officers that she will be on her way to pick up her daughter. The mother even tries to give the officers a backstory to earn her daughter some grace after her rude behavior. Nothing like a mother's love, am I right? Josie. What's going on? I Mom, I'm trying to go home, bro. Listen, I'm trying to go home. Listen, 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 Josie. They are not your enemies. Can you please work with them? Yeah. Okay. Can you, well, I, can me, I, I, hey, mama. 
Mom. I, what? I, I just need to ride home at this point. Who is with you? Anybody it's else? Just, any no, adults? it's just me, Midge, and Zola. Okay, listen. They are not your enemies. I, I'm, I, I'm not I, trying to make them my I enemies, want... bro. I'm, look, I, and I, I, I get that I don't need everybody to understand what the f*** I've been through Stop. with that Josie. big forehead asses. Stop. I understand that sh I understand Josie. that sh They don't know what you have what been, I've been through. through. They don't know what I've been again. through. They don't know what I've been through. Uh, would you would you be willing to come out here and pick her up, her and that your grandkids? We're in Indiana. So you can't come to Orland Park right now. It, it, is she like uh, close to a gas station? I sent her money. No, she's she doesn't even know where the keys are. We have to go. We have to go. There. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah, you're able to come here. Yes. Her father used to be a cop. Yeah, she's told us. Has a lot of trust issues with police, okay? Because police didn't help us when we needed help. Yeah, no, I believe it. I, I will, we will come pick her up. I just don't want, um, her mouth is, um, is, is just, is there. Yeah. Um, if I can give you an address, if you guys are willing to come here. We're an hour and a half away, but okay. Well, we're, we're trying to do what, see what we can to help out your daughter. Oh, no. Again, you guys are far away, but I mean, we're, we're trying, our hands are tied here too, you know? No, I appreciate you calling me. I appreciate even the whole situation with her. All right, thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much. In the middle of having everyone bend over backward for her, Josephine starts her car and attempts to leave, something that gets immediately shut down by the officer. Trying to drive off in a car with no gas is not the smartest getaway plan, Josephine. As they attempt to get her to answer questions that can determine the kid's safety, she shuts them down. This then leads to medical officers being called to the scene. But again, they are met with hostility as Josephine shouts that they should close the door because her daughters are cold and she wants to get home. Is she like nodding off or? Josephine. Yeah. You alright? Yeah. You're like falling asleep. No, I'm not. You were just falling asleep right there. No. So we just, hold on one second. I just have to tell you something real quick. All right. The um, fire department's gonna just make sure you're okay, okay? okay. All right. So can you turn your car off for right now? Yeah. Can you, can you just turn the key out of the ignition? Yeah. Can you do that for me right now? Yeah. Right now, before you close the door. Yeah, I will. Hold when, on. I, when I close the door, it's cold. Okay, um, take the key out of the ignition. Okay, I will when it's cold. Do it right now. Oh. Do it right now. Ah. Hold on. Okay, so move. What the f I can't even charge my phone. Well, if they've been out here this long, then I'm starting to worry about the kids. I've got a long suit. It's not making much sense. She doesn't doesn't know where she is. There's two kids in the back seat as well that we're concerned so, about too. Because we so don't. She's just all, acting altered, or we don't know if we, it's a uh, mental health issue I got or uh, substance abuse issue. I'm not the police. I just there have a couple questions for you. My key got stolen. Josephine. Josephine, I know you don't want to deal with us. I get that. She says she's not on any meds, according to her. Her weaponizing turns lethal as she bullies one of her daughters into asking the police officer why they will not close the car door. She starts screaming, talk little girl, as she forces her daughter to beg the police officers to close the door and let them drive home. This is a tragic situation. And one that no child should have to endure. The police officers are at a loss not sure what to do when confronted by the distressed child and her abusive mother. The mother continues to shout at the daughter, telling her to tell the police officers that they want to go home and grabbing her to use her to shield her from the medical officer. What a pathetic act by someone who's supposed to be a mother. Okay. You don't know him. Is your <laughs> you name Zola? Hey, grandma's gonna come him. pick you guys right. up, okay? I, Zola, ask okay. them why they won't close the door. Ask them. Hey, Zola? Ask them. Ask them, Zola. Zola, ask them. Why won't you close the door? Ask him. Ask him. Talk, little girl. Ask him. Say, why won't you close the trunk? Ask him. Okay. Ask him right now. Ask them. It's okay, sweetie. 
Why don't you close the truck? Ask hey, him right now. We're bitch. not gonna Ask hurt him. you, I promise, sweetheart. Ask hey, him. Okay. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. We need to step on the car. We need you guys to get out of the car. Ask him again. Ask him again. Stop. Ask him again. Stop treating your children. Ask him again. Ask him again. Ask him, Zoe. Ma'am. Man, I'm talking to your them. kids like this. Ask them. Ask them again. We want to go home. Ask them again. Ask them again. Ask them again. Why would you close the door? Ask them again. One, two, three. Our hands are now fucking secure. Ma'am, you need to let go of your children. At this point, the police officers intervene to save the children and physically take Josephine out of the vehicle. Girl. Right to the front of the car. Right to the front of the car. Y'all some clowns. Here we go. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Ma'am, resisting like this is not helping. Her daughters are frightened as the police officers take them into the safety of one of their vehicles. They proceed to cheer the children up with promises of McDonald's and chicken nuggets to distract them as they arrest their mother for multiple charges, including aggravated battery to an officer. What do you guys think you'd like to have to eat? Um, 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 get, um talk about. Okay, take it easy. What would you like, okay, darling? It's just me. It's just Zach, Some okay? Happy I'm gonna put the seatbelt okay. on you, okay? So what do you what do you think about McDonald's? Does that work? Um, yes. Do you guys like okay. McDonald's? Yes. Okay, what kind of what do you like at McDonald's? Um I will get chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets? With barbecue sauce. With barbecue sauce? I like cheese. With barbecue sauce. A cheeseburger? And what do you guys like, you to, drink? like to drink? Um chocolate milk. Chocolate milk? What are, and you want a cheeseburger? Um, um, and what do you want to drink? Okay. Um, some, some What is your sister? Would you like Sprite or Coke or what kind of soda? Um, she likes pop. She likes pop? Yeah. Okay, what kind does she like? Which one? I like one for Instagram. Sprite, you got it. Happy Meal, Cheeseburger, Sprite on the way. Fortunately, in this video, the police officers are able to stop a brainless attempt at self-sabotage and no one was harmed in the process. Unfortunately, the two young girls will forever be scarred by the encounter caused by their mother's carelessness, much like this next case of theft that we have. But before we get to that, please take a second to hit that like button. Okay, with that out of the way, let's move on. This case is one of those that depict that not everyone is fit to be a mom. On this random day, the police are called to Target, where they intercept a mother and their children in the parking lot headed to their car. The family is each pushing a loaded cart that is packed full of stolen goods. It's clear that this woman has used her children to carry out a grocery heist. As they are ushered back into Target to face the music, the waterworks, confessions, and regrets begin to kick in. So I'll go back inside. Huh? Let's all go back inside. Okay. Just, they were with me. Yeah. Okay, well, they're accusing you guys of shoplifting, so can we head back inside, or do I need to just start putting people in cuffs out here? No, 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 no. no. Okay. You guys, you included. My baby. Nope, everybody inside. That's all right, girl. Okay. So is there a reason why they would be accusing you guys of shoplifting? Oh, yeah. That those are stolen. Okay. So just so I'm have not gonna lie. Okay, I appreciate it. Yep. We'll be in the LP office. Uh, and that door on your right, you can just go right on in there. Uh, right there. Yeah, nothing going on. Twenty six. Thank you. They were headed straight to the car. How old are you guys? They're minors. They're all minors? Yes. Okay. Mom, I'm not talking to these cops. Okay. I don't want to get any more drunk than I'm already in. Okay. I bet that only an hour before this interaction, this lady was thinking, who needs to pay for groceries when you can get children to steal $1,500 worth of food? Now as the office begins to read them their Miranda rights, you can tell that the mother is flustered and panicking. The children, who seem to be natural troublemakers, are very calm, almost as if to say, this is not their first rodeo. While everybody's here, I'm gonna read this to you guys. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. And you have the right to have an attorney present now at any time during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you without cost. If you talk to me, you have the right to stop answering questions or speak to an attorney at any time. Do you understand each of these rights? I need to have a verbal yes or no from each one of you. Ma'am? Yes. Yes? Camo, yes or no? Do you understand yeah. your, Do you know these? understand your rights? Yes. 
Hollister, yes. Ma'am, yes. Are you willing to talk with me? Yes or no? Yeah. You've already said no, but I have to ask again, yes or no? Sure, that's not my choice since I'm already in trouble with court. So they're going to put this on my fucking record too. What, yes or no? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. Do you guys have IDs on you? I'm 16. Okay. You said you've been in trouble with court, Seminole County, Orange, Orange Volusia, County. Brevard. Orange. Orange, you guys out on probation, parole. Probation, what for? Fighting. Fighting? Stupid crackhead. Sure, please. Yeah. If you guys want to follow the um, LP into the office. Are they yours? Huh? Are they your kids? Sorry. Oh, yeah, just give me one second here. So they're not your kids? Whose kids are they? No, I just, um... The driver in that car's kids? Huh? Are they the driver in that car's uh, no. kids? No, one of them is. You know it's bad if the adults are crying, and the kids are super relaxed as the totals after failed heist are being read. Those are some tough but misguided kids. You guys are going to start on the total on what was taken? I can, I can have somebody start that. Yes, yes, please. Yes. I got a pee. Can I go pee? No. Okay. Hey, can I request a crim hist on the adult female? As the questioning persists, officers discover that one of the minors is the child of the driver in the car that was meant to leave with them, and the other two are her friends. The officer quizzes the woman in the getaway car, who claims she was unaware that she was party to a heist. She alleges that the shoplifter stated she needed the children in order to be able to carry all the items she would be buying with her food stamps. Hey, how you doing? I'm okay. Do you want to talk to me for a second? Let me call you back in a minute, Caitlin. Hey, are you waiting on anybody in the store? Yes, I just seen. I, okay. I, she had. I gave her money earlier today. Yeah. And I gave her. She has her food card. Okay. So I thought, you know, that she was going in. She says I need help because I can't put all yeah. the drinks with the kids. Okay. Cause I get over a thousand dollars of food stamps. Yeah. So and then she gets her food stamps. She gets like four or five hundred too. Mm -hmm. So I thought with that, and then I pay her because she stays with me. Who, you know, who is she to you? Family to me. I mean, like. I took Baby, you guys home. are like friends, cohabitants. Yeah. Um, now. Do I, you have an idea on you? What are you guys up to today? Nothing really. I, I didn't expect this to happen. Yeah. Um, because she knows my daughter right now is in trouble. Okay. My daughter is actually not on probation, but she is somewhat on probation. If that makes sense. Like she okay. got in trouble. She got in trouble. And she has a six o'clock curfew. Mm -hmm. She can only be anywhere as long as she's with me. Okay. You know, so I, you know, so we open to go store. She needs something with food stamps, you know, drinks. She has mm -hmm. money, and I, she had her food card, and then, like, if you need extra food stamps, let me know. I got my food card too. Back to the arrested lady. Well, the police officers query shop employees and discover that she had been caught on camera shoplifting two days prior. Do you have any other cases with her that you know of? I do. Okay. One other incident. Okay. Did you file that already? I have not filed this one yet. Okay. Um, and two days ago, three days ago. Two or three days ago? Okay. All right. Um, give this, we got a lot of paperwork here, yep. but um, if you can just kind of pull that one up and we'll kind of have it ready. Okay. Yeah, if, you, if you're not doing anything we'll else. We'll file on two separate, and you only use this one, correct? Yeah, yeah, exact same thing. Okay. And um, Will they file together? They're so close together? They're separate. Okay. They're separate cases. Got it. Because it's two separate instances. Uh, yep. So. Um, do that. We got a lot of paperwork, and um, we're but just uh, whenever you finish that stuff up, just try to pull up that other case, and then we'll, uh, we'll go with that. Do you care if she watches it? Um, that okay? God benefit you guys. Yeah, because I, I just I don't want to give her the chance. So I, I can even just take a photo. If you want. Yeah, you want to do that? Imagine that, just two days prior. What is even more shocking is that in her previous heist, she had also been accompanied by a minor male who appeared to be in middle school. Upon viewing the footage, the shoplifting mother denies knowing the child and claimed to have come into the grocery store with her newborn baby. The new developments caused the police officers to probe the matter further. I honestly, I'm just sitting here and say, I really do not know who he is. I know that's me with my kid. Yeah, Straight up. Well, I know, I know, I came in with me and my kid. I'm not gonna sit here and say I didn't. I know I left with me and my kid. 
Well, let, let's let's run through that one, yeah, because, start to finish. Okay. I, mean, um, I didn't so, pay for everything I had in my cart. I yeah, yeah, I, I, I get that. I, I, I get that. Yeah. Let's just. Let's just run. Chase, do you mind if I question her? No. Honestly, at this point, it does look like this woman uses miners to steal groceries. And if that is indeed true, it is simply disgusting. However, while the woman admitted to stealing the goods, the shoplifter vehemently denies knowing the child she has seen in the footage. Uh, who drove you to the target? My friend. Who's your friend? The same one. Did, did she drive you? Did she drive you in the Tahoe? The same one that was out there? No, we were in a, I think a pickup truck. Pickup truck. Sometimes it's a pickup truck. Sometimes we're in the Tahoe. But, but that, that that day you're in the in the truck. I'm pretty sure. Okay. I mean, I, mean, I, I, I don't it's know. It's not a big deal, but I, I'm just curious. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty okay. sure. Okay, so who who all went? It, who all did you come with? Two targets. Just me and the baby, and then she was driving. So there's no no kid. I, I walked in with me and the baby. Well, let's, I mean, she's let's, the kid, let's, so. let's let's back up. Okay. So who all came to in the car? Her? Yes. Her and her kids, and then me and my kids. So right here. Okay. So let's. So it would have been a girl, not a boy. Okay. So. She she brought the two kids that were here. <laughs> they were with us, yes, but they didn't come in the store. Really. Okay. And then you brought the baby. Oh, yeah. I came in with the baby. Yes. So, so who is this kid? That's what I'm saying. I don't know who he is. It's not even with me. From what they're saying, there's stuff in here. I'm gonna get told for something that well, didn't pertain to me. No, 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 no. I take blame for what I do do. What I did. I don't know. Look, let me. Can you play the whole script for me? If you don't mind. What's that thing people say about the truth always coming to light? Yes, that. Upon further scrutiny, the officers discovered that the young miner and the shoplifting adult did indeed leave the shop together and didn't pay for the items they left with. She's been busted. Sodas and chips. Okay. Because I'm just trying to figure. And then is that the same kid that she walks out with? Yes. Okay. And give me the throw the long apartment. She's six one zero little hill coat. And that's where they go into grocery and I kind of lose selection from there. Um, I do have, I'll have the footage of them passing by all my And yeah, can, did they pay for anything? Can we just double check? Yep. So they are coming off the grocery floor. Confronted with evidence of her and the miner entering the getaway car together, the shoplifting adult finally confessed that she knew the miner and that the miner was a girl. She was 13 years old and the adult woman claimed that she was just a child that she knew from the neighborhood who assisted her on the day. She went on to protect the child, claiming she did not even know that she had been used to shoplift and assumed that she was just assisting the shoplifting adult with carrying the groceries. The first time or whatever, the, the which is the ninth is what I was talking about, I was just in here yesterday. I didn't steal yesterday either. Okay, you didn't steal yesterday. So okay. today I stole. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. We're, so, you know, we're, I mean, in the day that I got the baby formula, I paid for the formula, so, and I did pay for her diapers and wipes or her cookies. On the night? I don't know if, that's the, if it was the on, night. On, on the, the first time you came in the store? Yes, I paid for the the, the the photo I showed you. You know what? The, the yeah, photo I showed you? Yeah, my gray shirt. Yeah, so that, that's the first time you came in the store, right? That's what we're talking I mean, about? I he's saying it's the ninth, so I don't know. The ninth is in the date. The ninth is the date. It's not the ninth time you've been here. Oh. Yeah, no, 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 no. Like, like, so, like today's the 14th. Right. Like it's the 14th time. I was in here yesterday, so when, and I was in here when, prior when to you that. Were, th this is you, right? Yes. Okay, so you... And I have wipes on the bottom. Okay. What, that what I did didn't you, pay for. Okay, so you, you, you stole stuff this yes, day. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. What did you steal that you remember? There was chips, cookies. Okay. Did you pay for anything that day? No. Okay. Why did you lie to me then? I, the first time I came in here, I yeah, paid for her formula. Okay, all right. So Sorry. We, we, we have our data mixed up then. Yes. So, okay, so you, you stole stuff on this day. Yes. Okay. You, did, you didn't pay for anything uh, whatsoever no, on this day. Okay. Who is this person? I have no idea. I did not, it, it I gets, swear to God, I did not walk in with him unless you got video of me getting in the car with him and him getting in my car. We do. <laughs> it's, it's right there. I just watched it. It was a girl who came in with me. I mean, I, I literally just watched a person get in the car. They like come out with the load up the items of the car. Like, and it was a female that was with me, is what I'm saying. It's not the, a boy. The, uh, well, a girl. Who, who is this though? A girl named Jessica. Just some random girl from the area over there. Okay. I how how, how old is Jessica? 14, 13. Okay. She just came with me, that was it. Okay. Did she know she was stealing? She doesn't know anything. We went in and I got the stuff from that. She met me at the um, Starbucks. Okay. Um, 
What is uh, Jessica's last name? Do you I know? have no clue. How, how do you guys know each other? I just, I, she runs around with some of the hoodlum kids out there. Where I go babysit at, that's it. Okay. Um, so I mean, like Orlando area? Did, did, Jess, did she know she was stealing stuff? No. She, okay. she didn't know anything. Because we, we don't want her to get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah. She didn't know anything. So I mean, this is difficult to watch, and even worse, to stomach. The ages of people being introduced to crime here are just way too young to be doing such. If you're watching and you are a criminal, please don't drag kids into it. After the interrogation, the police officer arrests the shoplifter and again, the waterworks begin. That's one thing she's good at because stealing definitely isn't her area of expertise. One wonders if her tears were driven by the guilt for all the children she had used to do her dirty work or by the thought of leaving her newborn baby without a mother. You have anything in your pockets? Okay. Do you Part of me would be feeling sad for her, had it not been for the fact that after being charged with grand theft and sentenced to five months probation, she would find herself in trouble just a month later for stealing again. Come on, lady, have some self-respect. And then... Uh... Disgracing yourself seems to be a theme for these people, much like with our next mother here. Keep watching. On the 24th of February, back in 2022, police officers were called to a Walmart down in Athens, Georgia, after it was alleged that a young mother did not pay for all the clothes she bought. The suspect acts completely shocked as she states there must have been a mix-up, as she did not realize that she had not scanned some of the clothes. Uh, I'll pay for it, but I wasn't even Ma'am, just, go see you got your ID me. on you? Mm -hmm, it's connected Just, just let me see your ID. We'll, yeah. we'll figure it out. Just, oh, here, let me get <laughs> Just come to the loss prevention office and we'll figure it out. Let me see your ID. Oh, okay. You ever been in trouble before? Mm-mm. You never been in trouble, this won't be a big deal, but they were watching you and they said that you didn't pay for a lot of this stuff. So let's go in here and see what's going on and okay. we'll figure it out. Just, I'm sorry, y'all. No, nah, that's I fine. I'll tell you what, since your kid's in there, we'll let you push the buggy over there, okay? They can push it. Well, you can push it. Your kid's yeah, in it. They push it. Your kid's in it. But I can I pay for whatever. We'll, we'll figure it out. 3369 Central. I'm out. This little loss prevention room right here. No, this is just their little office. You can just you can go in here, sit on this bench with your kid, and let here. Let's keep all this out here for now till we. Yeah, there's the lobby office. Yeah, you can just take him in there, and y'all can sit there for a minute while they figure out what what they say you did and didn't pay for. Okay, we'll well I have a lot of stuff. Well, we'll yeah, it's gonna take a minute. You spent that much? Yeah. This is four hundred and something dollars. Yeah. Clothes are expensive for kids. Yeah, they are. Um, do you have a pen? Yeah, I'll squeeze in there. I'm trying. I, a lot of the stuff I gave her back said I didn't want, so I'm trying to figure out what did I. Well, they were watching you on video, and they said you didn't scan a bunch of it. But we'll see. We'll see. Scan a bunch of. Well, they some of. It. I mean, you, if you paid that much. Yeah, there are feet. Yeah. Anywhere. Hey, buddy. It's okay. Who's that on your shirt? Is that Woody? Uh, What's in that bag up there? The child weaponizing begins as she states that she probably got everything confused because she was moving around with her children, and she tends to want to get in and out of the store quickly. But at the end of the day, I appreciate you guys for doing what y'all did instead of making it a big scene because I have my kids. Well, and I appreciate there ain't it. no reason to be a big scene. And I appreciate you also, man, because you know a lot of people are rude to people. Even know, oh, she's rude most of the time. Still... Are you pulling it up now? I'm trying. Oh, Our yeah. system this way is very slow. But yeah, I always come here and spend a lot of money. How much stuff do you think she didn't pay for? I'm not going to trust yeah, me. Yeah. I'm not, I don't, I've never been in jail for shoplifting or anything. Huh? And really, I'd be trying to get out of here because no, my kid up? is bad as hell. No, I'm at Walmart. They just stopped somebody. What's the up? police officer and the shop employees begin the investigation process to determine which items she paid for and which ones were stolen. The mood is still calm as the mother profusely apologizes for the supposed error and promises she will not do it again. They're just going through to look the stuff that's not on the receipt. Is what they're doing. At the end of the day, I could pay for it. Well. That's on there. These are not. I'm not trying to be rude to you. No, well, that's the thing. I mean, like I said. No, we still have a job to do. 
It's, oh, yeah, it I'm is what it is. Not, not, not I mean, you paid for, you paid for most of it, but 16, like, one like I said, you'll probably get a citation and you'll probably get barred from here, and that'll probably be the end of it. However, the mood soon sours as the police officer informs her that she will probably receive a citation and be banned from using the store as punishment for shoplifting. The young mother becomes agitated, claiming she needs to go home, and uses the excuse of her two toddlers to avoid signing the citation. I'm not trying to be rude. Could you please say them because they put a pep in it up? The same way they risked they really didn't charge me. They didn't risk so I can go home, my baby. Ready to go. They've got a process they've got to go through. It's yeah, going to take I some know, time. But at the end of the day, I have a, uh, a four week old baby. I'm ready to go okay. home. It does not matter. Y'all may not be moms, but you know, they're down the line. Okay. And they would have been, they would be slow to be funny. And I know it, but I'm not going to let nobody get me out of here after to go to jail at the end of the day. They're not trying to be funny. They want to get you out of here, Sue. Trust me, they're being funny. I know it might be funny. And y'all bless you already. That's nothing to do with it. Trust me, I'm black. She begins a sob story about how she is a single mother and has to do it all alone in the hopes that it will sway the jury in her matter. Spare us, ma'am. You should have thought about that before committing crimes. <laughs> yeah, it's just me and the dad. Like, we co parent, but it's really just me and my fiance, his dad. What you doing on his quilt? Sorry, that was a lot of stuff. It's one nine oh one eighty seven seventy four. And there's your refund receipt. They'll post in one to five business. Finally, the investigation is complete, and the total given for all the goods stolen is $187. The young mother denies this charge and begins to pick a fight with one of the employees who claims has been treating her differently and without respect. Lady, You've been stealing. What respect do you want? She continues to weaponize her children again, claiming that she is a mother who should be treated better in the circumstances. It seems she realized her sob story was not getting her any sympathy and needed to change strategy. All right, so here's your citation. You will have to go to court on April 11th at 9 a.m. for that. And then if you can start right there on the X. It's not a mission of guilt, just saying you received it. I ain't no way in the hell. I had almost two hundred dollar worth of stuff together. I don't believe that. They really didn't be doing it. I ain't no way in the hell. Well, we've got it. We'll just list it all in the report for you. And uh, I don't believe it. But I pay for it. No way. No two hundred dollar worth of stuff. We'll have that video in court, so you'll be able to review it then. I mean, I ain't actually bought it. Your mouth really smart. Oh, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying you. too. Okay. Okay. It's not the, all right. We're done. Shouldn't nobody but the police be talking to you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like she did say, you'll have the video available in I mean, court to review. At the end of the day, like I said before, when she came back, I do be feeling like they be trying to be funny. You know, like at the end of the day, it is what it is. Okay. And I ain't say nothing about you doing your job, but my thing is, when it came to my baby, you had an attitude, and I'm a mother at the end of the day. I am not okay. My kids are so way more important than little funky merchandise here, and I'm being honest. Okay. Okay. I'm from the street for real, bro. I'm not gonna tolerate nobody disrespecting me when you come to my kids. Never disrespecting you. You really did, because you're trying to tell oh, sorry, me how to feel about, about my kids when I'm ready to do it. I didn't tell you how to do it. But y'all didn't though. need me here to do okay, any of this. So if you. If you feel like there is an issue with that, you can talk to um, the manager here and you can file a report with them about that. No, I'm fine. I'm done. I don't have no issue. Like, I should have came back today. What's the day? Like, nobody tried to be funny. The lady leaves the shop in a huff, having failed to use her toddlers to save her situation. How much more was she planning milk motherhood? This video is another example of motherhood being used as a weapon to gain sympathy and to run away from accountability. The lesson learned is children are to be protected and loved, not weaponized. Thank you for watching. The YouTube algorithm thinks you will like this video the best, so watch and find out if it is right.